Jessica Santillan, a 17-year-old from Mexico, suffered from a severe heart and lung condition. Her only hope was a transplant. Tenemos fe, hija. Everything will be all right. The doctors here are the best, Jessica. You're in good hands. At Duke University Medical Center, the transplant team prepared for the complex operation. All right, team. We have a rare opportunity to save this young woman's life. Let's make sure everything is perfect. All pre-op checks are complete, doctor. The organs have arrived. The surgery began. The team worked tirelessly for hours, replacing Jessica's failing heart and lungs. But a critical error had been made. Scalpel. Blood pressure dropping, doctor. Days later, the devastating truth came to light. The transplanted organs were incompatible with Jessica's blood type. I am so sorry. There was a mistake. The organs were not a match. What? What do you mean? She was getting better. There has to be something you can do, please. Jessica's body began to reject the organs. Despite desperate attempts to save her, her condition deteriorated rapidly. Mama, papa, un, we amor, estamos aquí, we are here. On February 22, 2003, Jessica Santillan died. Her death sparked outrage and a national conversation about medical errors and patient safety. No, no! The hospital publicly apologized for the mistake and launched an internal investigation. We take full responsibility for this tragic error. We are deeply sorry for the pain and suffering it has caused the Santillan family. The Santillan family pursued legal action, seeking justice for Jessica. The case highlighted the critical need for stricter protocols and safeguards in organ transplantation to prevent such tragedies from happening again.